I've always had been drawn to the to the idea of like service and giving back and playing sort of a prominent role, you know, in your community um, and having an impact, mostly because I, I just think it's, it's pretty apparent, I think, as you grow up and when you sort of start, you know, having awareness of what's around you, uh, is that unless you, you know, speak up for what's right and unless you yourself are advocating for, for things, you know, no one's going to do it for you. And I think that's just sort of, uh, that that's our rule of life is no one's going to give you anything if, and that if you want something, you know, whether it be, you know, something for your community or something, you need to, you need to use your voice. Um, and that's sort of why part of the reason why I was initially drawn to medicine is that I really saw it as a really cool way uh, 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 of giving back and sort of serving one's community. And, you know, had I continued along that path, you know, my intention was always going to be, um, you know, to, to, to be a pediatrician and to work in sort of underserved areas and, and, and places where there was a real need for, for primary care and things like that. You know, that it, had I gone into medicine, that was definitely what my path was going to be. Um, but I realized the hard way that you have to really love science as well. Um, at least that was my interpretation of it, is that, you know, it, all that is great, but if, if you want that MD and if you want to go through those motions, um, you really need to love science. And, and I was able to do it, you know, I was, I was able to get good grades and I did really great on the MCAT um, and stuff, but it was just, it, it, it just something didn't feel right. Um, and so I wanted to do something that uh, was sort of in that same line, in that same vein. Um, and I'd always been interested and passionate about politics. I'd always followed along. I'd always, you know, volunteered on like local campaigns and paid attention and did things like that. Uh, and so after I graduated college, I just sort of reached out um, uh, to some folks that I knew and, and asked their thoughts on like things that I could maybe do to, to get my foot in the door. Um, a lot of it is also, you know, I had one of my best friends uh, in the world at the time. He was working on a campaign uh, in Riverside where we were both going to college um, and just sort of seeing the work that he was doing and the role that he was playing in sort of shaping that region and shaping that part of California really just sort of spoke something to me in that, you know, that this is something like I need to give a shot at as well. Uh, and the rest is just sort of history.